When the scripture says, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, when the hidden things will be manifested, then we think, oh no, what is he going to drag out from my life? doesn't scare me at all. All those bad things, they're all under the blood. You think he's looking for things to criticize me? No. And the reason I know that is I read the rest of the verse. It says, and then shall everyone have praise of God. I remember hearing a dear brother, and he was talking about that point in his life when the Lord, he felt called him to serve the Lord. He got down on his knees, and this was what he prayed. He said, Lord, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. That's a good biblical phrase, isn't it? Those people that were used mightily by God all had a nothing experience. And what they were saying was, from this point on, I'm not counting on anything I can contribute. I'm counting on him. It's his life. It's the gift he gives me. It's the strength he gives me. It's the opportunities he gives me. I'm counting on him. And so even in our weakness, even in our failures, God still takes us up and uses us. Isn't that good? A lady who was at a conference, and she was not walking with the Lord. And the preacher came to her and said, there's a lady here that really needs someone to pray with her. And she said, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Well, you got to do it. You're the only woman I know here. you got to go and pray with her. And she said, I'm sorry, but I'm not. I'm not in fellowship with the Lord right now. I can't do it. And he said, look, you got to do it. Because somebody's got to help this lady. So reluctantly, she went over and prayed with this lady. And later on, the lady told her it was the turning point in her life. And she remonstrated with the Lord. And she said, Lord, how can you use people like me? And the Lord said, people like you are all I have to work with. He chose to do that. We had a scrap heap when I was a kid. And if we were going to build something, we'd go and take pieces of scrap. But if my dad was going to build something for my mother, you know, work in the cabinets or whatever, he always went down and bought the best stuff he could find. When God designed the most beautiful building that would ever exist, the only building that will survive the collapse of the universe, he decided to build it out of you and me. He's totally committed to us. As somebody said, If God had a fridge, your picture would be on it. He's all in for us. And he's asking us to reciprocate and be all in on the project too.